So we're going to cover the single leg elephant walk as you'll do before this you would have done set of 10 seated good morning you would have worked your way through your split squat and on your way regressing down really focusing on that back leg the single leg elephant walk is going to be back leg used as a kickstand so i'm going to have right leg forward back leg used as a little kickstand i'm going to keep my spine nice and like extended and focus on pushing my hips back tensing having a straight front leg tensing that quad. When I run out of room, I'm then going to bend the knee, hinge further over, again, minimizing the amount of movement through the spine for now. As you get more advanced, you can really get deep into the stretch by allowing your spine to flex and compress. But from here, we're keeping that spine neutral. We hinge further back with the bent knee, and then we're going to focus on tensing the quad, and that's going to that's going to help us improve that active range of our quad while getting a nice active stretch through the hamstring as well, which if you can start to think about pulling your knee forward, so push with the quad, but you pull the knee back forward with the hamstring while keeping that position, then you're going to feel more control of your hips and your knees while you're in this hunched over or like hinged position. So that's going to be single leg elephant walk. I like to do sets of 15 to 20 there. Uh, if, you're doing, if you do a double hand elephant walk, once, but that's pretty easy if you can do that too. Well, once that becomes pretty easy, then you go to the single leg and that's a whole different ball game. So that's your series to do in the gym.